Okay. <clears throat> this is uh, Dan Dorfman, investigator, Los Santos uh, City District Attorney's Office. Uh, this is in relation to the state versus Freddie Price uh, incident involved uh, was August 31st, 2018. Uh, for the record, could you please state your name? Mike Lemonade, 36 and a half. Is that your, uh, is that your chest size, Mike? No, oh, that's uh, my, my age. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, and Mr. Lemonade, um, the, uh, could you please state your current place of employment? Um, yes, uh, Macapone Scrapyard and um, pizza delivery for Pizza This. Okay, thank you. Um, now, at the time of the incident, uh, well, let me, uh, let me stop myself here. Uh, just to make sure, um, officially, uh, you understand that you, uh, you have the right to have an attorney present if you wish uh, during questioning, and that uh, you can refuse to answer any question at any time. Good, That's your right. Do you understand these the rights? going to be out front of the 24-7. I understand. Okay. And then uh, your, this testimony or this uh, statement that you're giving us today uh, is done of your own free will. You're not being coerced in any way, shape, or form. Is that correct? Dispatch back one will be in route. Okay, thank you very much. Now, at the time of the incident on August uh, 31st, um, were you in the employ still of uh, SecuraServe as a as a uh, agent? I was. And what was your position, your official title there within SecuraServe? Uh, assistant to the chief. Okay, assistant to the chief. Um, so let's, uh, I want you to take me through, uh, first there, an encounter that, um, <clears throat> that occurred over, uh, between, uh, Mr. Price and your brother over at, uh, Pizza This. Uh, were you present for that? Uh, no. Okay, you were not present for that. Okay. Uh, when did you, uh. That was early in the day. Earlier in the day, uh, when did you join Mr. Price uh, and uh, Mr. Anderson? Medic one, did you advise you're going to take um, care of uh, two nineteen screws? I think. Affirmative. At the. Um, Clear. Thank you. I'm still ten six up in the county. Around. Well, all together, probably the ammunition. Okay, so did you arrive with them in the vehicle uh, that arrived at the ammunition? Uh, yep. Okay. And uh, so where did they pick you up at prior to the ammunition? When you were, you know, prior to arriving at the ammunition store, where did they pick you up at? Um, I believe it was at the, uh, the HQ. Okay, over at uh, Secure Serve HQ up in Vinewood. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you recall, was there any conversation um, in the car on the way down towards the ammunition? Or where were you, where were you headed? Oh, uh, we're heading to the, uh, the ammunition. Um, and then, um, you know, I, I wasn't sure what we were going to do. Next, Did I was you, just. Who is this guy? I was I was driving. Okay, so you were driving. You weren't riding shotgun. I was not riding shotgun. Nope, not this time. Okay, all right. And so you were uh, you were driving, and Mr. Price yeah. wanted you to go to the ammunition store, or dispatch him out with two nineteen the abandoned cruiser. Uh, yep. And. As you're driving along, uh, were you coming down uh, Elgin Avenue? That's the. Uh, uh, let me see. That's the one that runs right beside the uh, ammunition store on the east side. <laughs> uh, we were coming from uh, west of Adams Apple. Okay, so you were coming west along Adams Apple. Um, when did you, when did you see the, uh, when did you first see 
uh, the Phoenix Corporation vehicle. <coughs> yeah. oh, oh, bless you. Yeah. You okay? You want you want some water? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, can, can I get some water real quick? Yeah, yeah, sure. There's a uh, right behind you. There's a uh, they have some cups over there too. <laughs> I know the dog on his face. Two nineteen medic one direct. He's great. By the way, this sure, is sure, uh, sure. this is notorious Norman guys. If you don't follow to Notorious to Norman, you should. You Notorious Norman one? is an outstanding uh, role player. He's got one of the most little... imaginative characters on the server. I mean, look at how good he uses things. It's just, he's just amazing. Just amazing. You, uh, everything okay over there, Mike? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Good, good. I'm good. Okay, so you guys are traveling west on, uh, you're traveling west on... Uh, Adams, and uh, could you tell? Yeah, could you uh, tell me who's in the vehicle? So, Mr. Price was in the vehicle. He was. And who else was in the vehicle? Uh, Zeke was. What about Mr. Corleone? Um, he was uh, already there. Okay. I think he he got there after we did. He got there after you did or before you did? After we did. Okay. And and what uh, what vehicle did Mr. Corleone arrive in? I'm actually not too sure. Just some sort of like black car, I think. Dispatch better one three back today. Was it uh, was it a pickup truck or a sports car or like a some sort of like sports car or All something? Right. Pretty fancy. Pretty quick. Yeah, I mean I no, it's not not too bad. Okay. I mean, been in a, you know, a, um, orange, uh, Lamborghini before it. That was nice. And shotgun as well. Oh, you rode shotgun in that, huh? Yeah, I did. Nice. Uh -huh. I bet that was fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, now. I enjoyed it. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Corleone, was he, uh, did he join you guys from the, uh, from the pizza parlor? And now uh, follow you up to, uh, or head up to the ammunition, or? Um, well, I mean, I, I never knew either of them went to the pizza parlor. Smart. Um, I was trying but, to trip I mean, him up. They, they went to pick me up, and then that's when we started heading over to the ammunition. Okay. Um, and yeah. Okay. Tony wasn't in the car at all. Yeah, he was, he drove himself, right? Like you said. Yeah, yeah, he, he drove himself. I'll be yeah, okay. Of course, of course. Now, when did you first spot the uh, Phoenix Corporation vehicle? You know, the, uh, the pickup truck that uh, that your brother Jeff. After we got there. After so. So we got there. Yeah. Tony got Any there. Any available units? And I think they, Orchardville they Avenue and Cypress Flats. Okay. Just respond to the reports of a then, female seen doing hand-to-hand -hand transactions, green leafy substance. And then what happened? Uh, what happened as you guys are? Uh, everybody gets out of the vehicle. What 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 would you say the mood was? Two thirty-seven. I'll take it. Be delayed response from the county and um, i mean it was kind of fine you know not too bad i was um 10 4 showing you make a response um, 22 23. yeah it was, it was it was good you know when we got out of the vehicle you know, i was um yeah you know, i was i was a little bit sweaty on my my forehead a little bit so it was kind of chiseling down my beard a little bit and um uh, at, at that day i actually got a, a new haircut I, I i was i had a uh, mohawk um, and yeah. Okay. So you got out of the, uh, you got out of the driver's side, out of the mo with the Mohawk. And let's, uh, let's pretend. Out the driver's side, not the shotgun side. Right, yep. the driver's side. So let's pretend this is the vehicle right here. And if you wouldn't mind, uh, you're, if you're in the, uh, the driver's side, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stand over here on the, by the wall. And this is where the, uh, this is where the Phoenix Corporation vehicle is. So, uh. Maybe you could show me when how you got out of the uh, you got out of the vehicle and where did you move to? Well, I got out of the vehicle. Um, when we first got there, I don't think uh, Phoenix Corp was there uh, in the beginning. We we went in this well we were walking to the store. I saw Tony pull up. Okay. We walk in the store, grab what we need, get out, 
I see Tony again. I'm like, hey, Tony, how's it going? I kind of, I do a little wave like this. Okay, you gave him, like, your, uh, and then, your wave there. Yeah. Yeah, and then we walk back to the car, and then that's when, uh, Phoenix, uh, we see Phoenix going. Yep. Okay. And what type of items did you purchase from the, uh, from the ammunition? Well, I, um, I didn't really buy any. Okay, did you, uh, did you see Mr. Price buy anything? No, not really. I mean, um, I was kind of paying attention to Tony because I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, I see. Okay. I was more like, yeah. You have a pretty good relationship with Tony Corleone? I mean, I, I, I work for him. You know, I, I, I'd say so. Okay. Fair enough. So, uh, when Phoenix Corporation pulls up, what's the mood like then? What happens? Um, well, uh, Freddie and Zeke start talking to them. Well, they're talking to them. I start, um, uh, uh, talking to Tony. You know, me and him, we haven't seen each other in a while, you know, and is, talking to him. Is Tony, like, it, so if, if, if the vehicle, uh, the Phoenix Corporation vehicle is here, is and your there, vehicle and is the here, is there, and we is, kind is of, Tony kind of, like, right here? Like over here. Okay. Yeah, Tony's kind of like that. And I was kind of faced like this, like talking to Tony. Like, okay. Like this way. Like, how's it going? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so then, what about uh, Mr. Price? Where would you say Mr. Price was at this time? Uh, when they walked up. Uh, you he was probably in front of Jeff. So was uh. And then Zeke was. So if I'm I'm Jeff. Probably. Was uh. So, were so they... that's Jeff. Okay. Yeah, and then Freddie was like here, and Zeke I believe was like right there. Oh. Okay. Was right here. All right, perfect. And uh, now what about uh, what about the uh, blonde-headed lady? Do you know her, Wendy? Wendy. Yeah. Where was yeah, she, she has at? Nice hair. She's up. She does have nice hair. Ten four two. Uh, right here. She's like right here. Okay. And then um. What about uh, the other guy that's with them? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Wade. Mr. Wade. He was Wade? on top yeah. of the uh, uh, the truck, like above Jet. Okay. Like standing above him. And uh, did did Wade have anything in his hands? Um, in his hands, uh, I saw a bat, yep. What about Wendy? Did she have anything in her hands? I don't think so. And, uh, your brother? Did he have anything? Uh, he didn't have anything. And what about, uh, what about Tony? Uh, Tony didn't have any weapon. You know, like I said, you know, I was kind of like talking to him or mm -hmm. whatever over here. Yeah. I... You didn't have your nightstick out, right? You were just, uh, you were just talking to Tony. I actually didn't have a nightstick. I, I actually didn't have anything. So, um, you know, if I was attacked, I couldn't even smack anyone or nothing. Okay. And, uh, what about, uh, what about Z? Uh, <laughs> you like that impression? Zeke? Um, well, Zeke has, Zeke wasn't holding anything. He was just kind of standing by. He didn't have a nightstick out? Uh, no. I'm gonna be out what about Mr. Price? Patrol check, toolbox bag. Where? 2229. Uh, Mr. Price, he, um... He was right, um... He walked, uh... Kind of the same as Zeke. Like, him and Zeke kind of walked at the, uh, same time. Kind of like that. We okay. all did, so it was like... Freddy walked up like here. Right. Zeke walked up like, like this. Right. And I walked this way to talk to Tony. Yep. 
And, uh, yeah. So, uh, so you didn't see a weapon in, in Freddie Price's hands? Uh, I didn't see anything, no. You sure, Mike? You didn't, uh, well, let me ask you this. Does, uh, does Mr. Price have a baseball bat he carries for protection? Not usually. But he does have one, correct? Um. Hmm. I mean, well, you're I his, uh, you're just, his uh, assistant, you were his assistant chief, so, I mean, that's a pretty important position. work for the company anymore. Yeah, you don't you don't work for him anymore. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Well, I I'm not too sure. You're not too sure if he uh have you ever seen him with a baseball bat? Uh, I've seen him with a baseball bat, yeah. Where does he usually keep I mean, his usually, baseball bat? Uh, he usually keeps it in the trunk. He usually keeps it in the trunk. Did he, uh, yeah. did he get the uh, baseball bat out of the trunk today? On that day, August 31st? A, uh, female motorcycle, Coco Kale. Uh, I'm not too I'll sure. I'll have more for the uh, uh, MCU about that. later on that. Okay. Uh, what about Zeke? Zeke, uh, the, the standard equipment, your tactical equipment at... Uh, when you were working for uh, SecuraServe, that usually included a nightstick, correct? Uh, usually, yep. Right. And uh, both you and Zeke, you had your nightsticks that day, correct? Uh, Zeke, I'm not too sure. And for myself, I don't think so. Or maybe, I don't know. So the reason I uh, the reason I ask, uh, Mike, is because, you know, we found a nightstick and a baseball bat at the uh, at the uh, scene outside of the ammunition, and uh, I'm just wondering, you know, if I uh, if I run a DNA test on that, you know, whose DNA am I going to find? I mean, certainly the person who got struck by it, but uh, oh yeah, of course. Right. I'll probably find somebody else's DNA, right? Uh, yeah, well, probably, yeah. Yeah, okay. 237, 219, right? So, uh... Go ahead. Tell me Be about... Advised, after, uh... Track. I saw Miss Kale exiting the bank. After, uh, uh Mr. Money, Price and, uh, Jeffrey kind of... Everybody walks up to their positions. What's the conversation like? Oh, I, um... I, I couldn't really hear them. I mean, I was, I was whispering to Tony... Right over there. I see. You didn't hear Mr. Price raise his voice at all? Or Mr. Connors? I didn't hear what, what, what Jeff was saying or anyone was saying. I don't know. Okay, so you were focused on... You're telling me you were focused on your little conversation that you had to the side of... With uh, Mr. With Corleone. Tony, yep. Right? You know, talking about pizza and all that. Okay. Uh... Tell me a little bit then. So, as you're talking to Tony, what happens? What do you see? Um. Well, um, I was just talking to Tony. He was um. Um. He um he he brought out like a phone or whatever. And he kept yelling out, like, word star, word star. I didn't even know what that means. Well, you uh, you used to be a blogger. Would you say that uh, Mr. Corleone was probably recording the incident? Any available units. New Empire Way, Los Santos International Airport. Uh, maybe. Respond to the reports of the I don't know. 1061. Units I mean, that didn't have a hand respond code 3. No, not my phone. 
Well, not, yeah, not on your phone, right? Show you but uh, he had his phone out. Nope. Yeah, yeah, he had his phone out. Right. Like six zero but, uh, you know, the, uh, the manner in which he was uh, holding his phone, would it be consistent with someone who was doing a recording? Changing route. Uh, for recording, yeah, or taking pictures. Okay, so he was doing one of the two. Uh, probably. Okay. And, uh, but... I don't know, yeah, I haven't really asked him. Okay, but, uh, but you're an, you're an expert. I mean, you ran a blog. I, <laughs> I remember seeing some of your, uh, checking out some of your antics when I first came into that, town. That's you know. right, yep. yeah. You remember yep, that? That's right. Yeah, <laughs> and you yeah. had all those followers yeah, and then, and uh, you know all that's those subs true. and everything. That's yeah, that <laughs> yeah, was great. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and I, I remember seeing all that kind of craziness you used to do, and you used to record yourself, right? I did. Yeah. I did. I used to do a lot of food blogs. Right, and uh, you used to uh, used to take pictures too and get those posted up. You know, so what? Uh, what what did you call the guys that uh, you know that that were uh, that were sub to you the the people that watched your channel? Oh, uh, fru, uh, my uh, my my fruit juicers. Fruit juicers, know? that's right. I hadn't heard you say the yep, word fruit right. juicers in a while. You know. I know it has been a while. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so uh, so Mike, you know you you know this is this uh, this is about uh, Mr. Price, right? And. You know, we, we it's really important that we get all of the facts here. So, you know, uh, you were standing there. If, if Tony was, you know, to recording or, or watching, there must have been something going on that caught your eye. Something that you heard. I mean, it... Uh, tell me well, what you saw. When I heard... When I heard... Well, I mean, um, didn't really see... Uh, didn't see nothing yet at the time. You know, I was still talking to Tony, but I heard Tony, he was like, screaming like, whoa, whoa, whoa what's this? And then that's okay. when I turned, and it seemed like there was, um, there was just kind of like a big, like, group fight happening, or whatever. So what I did was, I ran in there, to, to try to, you know, you know, stop everyone from, from fighting, I, I didn't know what they were fighting about. Right. I just kind of jumped in there, and, and, and then, um. Did you try to kind of, like, tackle them all, and just kind of. Subdue the situation. Kind of pretty much, you know. Okay. Because you know, my brother Jeff was in there, and uh, I mean, my ex boss was in there at the time, and you know, I I, I just didn't want people fighting, and um, as soon as I did that, uh, I everyone got up, and uh, I think someone hit me in the back of the head. Really hard. That's 237. Yeah. I just have a subject you got, uh, witness in a hand to hand transaction. You got hit in the head, I think, by now. a baseball bat. Is that right? 20? Yeah, I think so. B. Orchardville. 10 4. Is that going to be the. All right. And, uh. Far where was Mr. Uh, Mr. Wade at the time that. Uh, about the time you got hit? Wayne? Um. Well, I was facing Wayne. You know, he was in front of me. Did you have your nightstick out at this time? I don't know if I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Did uh, Mr. Price have his bat That's out? That's two thirty seven. Show me his one detain. Uh I mean there, there were so many swings or whatever. Well how about it's so fast? You, you love your brother Jeff, right? I mean, and, uh, that's not in dispute. I do. Yeah, you, I do. He, you care a lot about yep. him. He ca and he cares a lot about you. I mean, I mean it all lot. happened so fast. I mean, yep, I know. Did you see? It all happened so fast. Did you see how your brother Jeff got hurt? No, I didn't. He was on the ground, and then I get hit in the back of the head. I'm on the ground, and then I start, you know, yelling, "Jeff, are you alright, Jeff? Jeff!" And then he was like, shut up, Mike. And then I was like, Jeff, why, why would you say something like that to me? I, I, I don't understand. And what about the, uh, the lady with the really pretty hair? What happened to her, Mike? I don't know. From what I can see, I think she, she was behind. Um, 
she was laying down behind behind Jeff. Right, and she had a uh, she had an injury to the back of her head as well. Did you see how that was caused, Mike? No. Like I said, everything happened so fast. You know, I I, I ran ran in there, tried to you know stop the everyone from fighting. I get up, I get hit. When was the last person I saw? I get hit. And then everyone's just on the ground and well, who was yeah I started, you said everyone was fighting who was fighting uh it was one it was it was a big group or whatever um jeff uh jeff was there mm, i love Freddy, scotch Steve. i love scotch scotch has got scotch uh, here it goes Wayne. down down into my belly so is it fair to say that uh, that Jeff and Mr. Price were were fighting? Um, yeah, Thanks a lot, I'm there, not, Zero Taylor. I don't know if the full situation would happen. Well, I mean, somebody somebody knocked uh, somebody knocked the hell out of your brother. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm trying to help you guys out. I'm trying to figure out who Good did that. Is that was that? Uh, Go ahead. Was that Mr. Price? Plates in read. There one young boy, Adam. Uh, maybe Mr. Zero. Price or Zeke. I don't know. All right. So it could have been Plate Mr. Zero Price one, young or could have been Zeke. Adam two five zero is going to return to Pegasus Body eight zero one, owned by a Coco Kale licensee. And ID uh, one, five, you didn't four, see one. Mr. Price with a baseball bat at all at this time, or did you? Did he have a baseball bat? Not the moment, no. So he didn't have a baseball bat. Did I Zeke? I think he was. Um, well, I, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they, they pulled it out, out maybe behind me or the something. Two thirty seven being around the what, mission room. What they had, or they had fists or whatever. Okay. But I was, I was more in this corner. Yeah. Um, and after like laying down like, like this. From what I can see, uh, Mr. Parrish's position was like this, and then Zeke's position was like this. All right, and Zeke was squared off against uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wade Wesson. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you went, uh, when you got knocked down, were you? Were you just stunned, or were you uh, were you actually unconscious? I was stunned. You no, know, I was worried for Jeff because Jeff was on the ground. Right, and but you were still calling out to him, so you didn't lose consciousness, right? I was, I was, I was worried right. about him. And and after the incident finished up, who, uh, Mr. Price and Zeke, were remaining standing. Ten fourteen. What did they say? Back in service twenty two forty three. Uh, and uh, they were they were worried about me. They were they were trying to uh, to get me in to get me in the truck to get me away. So they tried to put you in the trunk. Did you want to go into the trunk, Mike? Well, yeah. I mean, I I didn't want to just keep laying down on the ground. They said they were going to take me to to hospital. Okay. And uh, was Mr. Corleone uh, already unconscious or on the ground at that time? Yeah, I did see him down. I don't know what happened to him, though. Okay, did you see... Uh, uh, who, who, uh, who got in the driver's side of the vehicle when... Uh, who got in the driver's side of the vehicle when the, uh, Mr. Price and Zeke I, left? I don't... Does, I'm not too sure. I, I don't know. Okay. I was on the ground and, yeah. Okay, you were on the ground. You were, okay. Um, did you recall Mr. Price saying anything about Phoenix Corporation or about Jeff, at that time? I mean, your brother Jeff. He say, well, I mean, it seemed like Jeff was upset, and he was talking to me, saying, you know, Mike, you have to, you have to choose a side now. 
I was like, Jeff, what, what, what do you mean? And Jeff? Okay. Oh, well, we're both brothers. Even though I'm, you know, I was I was 36 at the time, by the way. You're, you're 36 um, and a half now, right? I'm 36 and a half now, yep. Fantastic. That's, uh, I mean, I, I could, I could tell you've, I could tell you've kind of, uh, you hit that turning point, Mike. I can. You seem like a new, kind of a changed man to me. Yep. I'm doing what I want to do now. Good for you. I'm glad to hear it, Mike. I always thought, uh, deep down in there was a good guy. Yep. A tiger. All right, actually a raptor, right? Rawr. Right. Yep, that's right. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's talk about um, the hospital, okay? okay. <clears throat> you're uh, <clears throat> you're on the uh, one of the beds, um, <clears throat> and I believe everybody was on police hold. Yep. And uh, you are uh, so you're handcuffed to the bed, um, which is typical procedure i mean you've been in that position before where you've <clears throat> been on police hold when you've uh you know we're in the hospital correct uh-huh it happens Two thirty seven is arriving right and around. uh tell me when you tell me when you first saw mr price um dispatch well, direction there's this, guy in, a, there's this guy in a mask I was like, who is that? What are you doing here? Was Takes he, yeah. mask off and turns out to be Mr. Price. Was he dressed in, uh, like, black tactical gear with SecuraServe logo on it? Um, I know black tack gear. I don't know about the logo, though. Okay. I think he had the logo. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Um, anyway, I, I, I know for sure black tack gear. Okay. Um, and he had a mask. Like a black uh, mask over his face. Yeah, yeah, he did. And, and then I was like, who is that? And then he uh, he took it off and he said that it was him. Okay. And uh, did he have anything in his hands? Thank you very much, Sarah Taylor. Appreciate it, man. He had a shotgun. Okay. He had a shotgun in his hands. And uh, what did he say to you? Uh, he was like, Mike, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get you out here, Mike. I was like, Mr. Price, uh, you, you can't. I'm, I'm, 10 4 2 19, showing you on a mission. I'm, I'm 22 47. To the bed. Um, you know, I, I have to stay here. And then, um, you know, he was trying his best to, to get the keys from like an, um, an, an officer. He, he asked to one of them to throw the handcuff keys and then he went over to me and handcuffed me and he was like follow me Mike follow me or whatever I was like well okay because I mean I I didn't really have any any anywhere else to go did you have a uh, pistol on you that day Mike um on me uh on my person yes I did okay and it was a uh, just a kind of a standard nine millimeter, maybe a combat pistol, something like that, automatic, semi-automatic. Yep. Okay. And uh -huh. uh, when uh, when Mr. Price yeah. uh, when Mr. Price came in, uh, and uh, what would you say? I mean, you've known Mr. Price for a long time. What would you say, Mr. Price? Uh, what was his attitude like when he came in? I mean, he was all like, I guess, excited to see me. Like, Mike, I'm gonna help you. Um, now, had the doctors treated your injuries from the uh, from the fight? Yeah, I was. I was okay. I was fine. But uh, I was. I was just handcuffed to the bed uh, by the, the officers. And you suffered a a blow to the uh, to the head from a baseball bat, right? Yep. Okay. Um, Wasn't really thinking clearly, or yeah. Sure. And uh, so when Mr. Price started talking to the officer, was Mr. Price uh, was he 
was he pointing his uh, his weapon down the hallway, or was he uh, was he just talking to you with his back turned towards the hallway? Um, he was kind of aiming his gun toward the hallway, and while I was behind him, he was like, "Mike, stay behind me." Okay. And you know, I I I listened. I. Uh, Please turn away from this shirt. Are you kidding? I love this shirt. Um, it looks so ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I listened to what you said. Okay. And after, uh, after the, uh, you know, he he and the trooper had some words. I mean, <clears throat> what did the trooper? What did you hear the trooper tell Mister Price? To to, to drop the shotgun and. Um, everything's uh, gonna be fine. Now if a Mike's, if a policeman gives you a direct order like that, um, you're supposed to do it, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, because net we're at a very serious situation. Everybody wants to go home, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. And did Mr. Price comply? Did he drop the shotgun? Uh, no. What was Mr. Price's response to the, uh, to the, to the order by the, uh, by the police officer to drop his weapon? Hmm. Um, hmm. I guess no. They uh, they didn't really say anything much. It it started to get quiet. But Mr. Price, kept, but uh, Mr. Price fired Tom around into the ceiling, okay. though, didn't he? He discharged his he did, weapon. Yeah. Into the ceiling. What did he say? Yeah. Um. Um. Damn it. What did he tell uh, you, Mike? Oh, you, you just told me to stay behind him. Did he tell you to get your and pistol out? He dropped Drop the pistol. Mr. Price dropped the pistol? Did he tell you to pick it up? He told me to pick it up. What did he tell you to do with that? That's a big omission right there. What was what was your understanding that Mr. Price wanted you to do, Mike? He wanted me to, to be behind him. And he was going to go... He was going to go... In in front. You, uh... And told me we were going to get out of here. All right. He was going to go and, in front? Are you sure he didn't want you in front, well, Mike? Well, no. Well... No, well, he, he told me to... He told me to... Check what's in that corner... And uh, which so let's uh, let's let's say that uh, this is the inside of the uh, of the area that you guys were in, and uh, over there is the window, um, you know the far window that's at the end of the uh, emergency room. Your the bed that you were at was this one right here, okay, and yeah. then uh, and then there's the wall, and then further down there's the opening that goes into the, uh, the to opening. the outpatient, right? Yep. And so, uh, so Ms. There was, where was there Mr. Was like Price a at? Corner here. Right. And well, where was, was Mr. Price? Here. Um, he was right here. I was behind him. He was like, Mike, take take the gun. Go, uh, go, go check what's in that corner. Did he, uh, 
Did he ever call out that he saw something down that? Because you know, there's a if you if you were to look in this direction, right, Mike? There's a little hallway that goes out uh, down towards uh, another area of the hospital. Did uh, did Mr. Price say that there was anybody over there? Well, there were shots firing in our direction. He kept telling me to get behind him. There were shots uh, fired in your like direction. Are you sure that he, Mr. Price well, was, didn't discharge when, his firearm there, Mike? Oh, I mean, he, he yeah, he was doing it to his, yeah. Right. But he told me to stay behind him. Okay. I couldn't really see out the corner. I mean, sure. I didn't want to peek my head and... Yeah. But, but you could see, uh, you know, when he, uh, he... That was a pump-action shotgun, right, Mike? Yeah. And so, uh, and you're familiar with, with shotguns. I mean, you call shotgun a lot. Uh, I, you're familiar with shotguns, right? Like a pop, a pump action? Uh, I mean, I will really use shotguns, but yeah, I, I know what they, you know, you have to pump it to, to shoot yeah. it, yeah. And when you pump it, what happens to the kid, what happens to the shotgun shell when you pump it? The one that was just fired. Um, that was just fired. Um, hmm. Just, just a regular pump one. Yeah, just a regular pump. Oh shit, DJ Danger, coming in with the gifted subs. And anyway, well. Two nineteen ten eight. Be advised, we're gonna be wrecked out. So, it was, it was just like a, a corner here, and then there was like, let's say, it was like a wall like this. Thank you, DJ Danger. Appreciate it, man. Right? And he doesn't want to answer that question. I was. He, kept telling me to get behind him okay and he was like it, it's a wall like this but on the other side that right so it, like so stuff so mr there. price is up is here oops not like this he's yeah, uh well, I mean, but he he's like that over on this side right and he's peeking on that side right yeah. and, and i was behind him there and he's got the shotgun I couldn't see nothing but i mean he's got the shotgun pointed yeah. in this direction correct that direction yeah and he's calling out to an I officer is that right yeah, I had okay. shots, uh, there were shots being fired after he was shooting. Okay. You know, coming our way. There were shots being fired? You're in your direction? Uh, well, in, I guess our direction, I, I don't know, I mean, I was just behind him. Or just a gun out, just okay. standing like this. All right, but there were several shots fired by the shotgun that Mr. Price was holding. Yeah. And they were fired in the direction of that hallway. Yeah. Okay. They were. So at the point in time where Mr. Price, what does Mr. Price tell you when he's getting ready to leave? What does he ask you to do, Mike? Uh, you told me to, to to take the gun or whatever drop and uh, go check the corner or whatever. All right. I was like, why Mr. Price? And he was like, <laughs> thank you very much, thing. DJ like, Danger. We're, we're getting out of here. Okay. Did so you want to? No did you want to go with him, Mike? Or did you want to stay in the hospital with your brother? Well, my, I, I didn't see my brother anywhere. My brother wasn't here. But I, I wish my brother was next to me or something. But you knew your brother was uh, transported here, right? Yeah, he was transported here. I, I don't know which which Wayne. I mean, um, I, I know Wayne was here. He was in the bed next to me. Right. And I saw him kind of, you know, after when Freddy first came here with the mask on. And Tony um, was here, right? Wayne kept. Yeah, Tony. He was at the the hallway or whatever, like the start of the uh, the doorway. I Wayne know. Was Mike kind is of so like, confused. I've seen the video. Weaving. It's interesting how how he's weaving this because he's telling me weaves of truth. He's probably I don't amongst know, a bunch of uh, BS. Two okay. nineteen. Gonna have another vehicle driving up the stairs. To so he off. was. Uh, so he was definitely. Um, Mr. Wesson was crawling out because he was. Sorry, I'm in the area. I'll be in route. He was trying to get out of the area. Right. He didn't want to be a part of this. 
yeah. Seen I couldn't believe I was handcuffed to the bed and didn't right. know what was going on. And honestly, no. what happened, Mr. Dorfman, is uh, Freddy told traffic. me to, to go. Told me to take the gun and check that corner. Both units back in service, 2300. I was walking out slowly or whatever. Right. And Freddy was behind you, right? With the shotgun. It was by the shotgun. You know, I... And, you know... Officer saw, you know, I, I had my gun up and... You know, I kept... I kept walking to the corner. I didn't know for sure if anyone was in there. I was like... Please, if... There's anyone in this corner, please, I... I, I don't want to do this. I, I... I can't... Good boy, Mike. Good boy. Whatever. It's okay, Mike. I, I was really sweating. You know what? Did you, Mike, I, I need you to be really honest with me here, Mike. Okay? Yep. And, and keep in mind, you know, this is, uh, this is part of you doing, you taking care of Mike. Right? Which is what, which uh -huh. I, that's what I want you to do. Yeah. Did you I... fear that Mr., uh, that Mr. Price might shoot you, Mike? If you didn't do what he told you to do? Were you afraid that he, that he might shoot you? I don't know. I mean, there's always that. There's always that, you know, that with a lot of people, you know, just kind of like. I'm talking about in that like situation. That that I know, Mike, and, and I'm, I'm talking. I know what kind of man he is. I mean, we've seen Mr. Price before, Mike. Is that, is that something that was running through your head that you were? You didn't want to get shot by the Maybe officers, Jimmy, but were you also afraid? Because you could have refused. But you didn't. Why? 10 4 showing you out of Mission Row 2301. 219-23. Were you afraid that he was going to shoot you, Mike? Not too sure. Okay. He could. He could not. I. I. Like I said. If. But you weren't certain. There was doubt in your mind. I was certain. Yeah, there was doubt. Okay. I Thank you, know. Mike. I know that's not easy for you. Okay. You've been through well, a I lot. Mean, I've listened. I mean, it's. I'm trying to help you out. It's like I said. I. I. I quit secure, so I. I just. I'm not cut out for it. I. You know, Mike. I think your life is gonna. Forward. I think your life's gonna go in a great direction now. I think. Uh, I think that was one of the best things you could have done, and now you can have a good relationship with your brother. Ten and uh, turn your back in service. Put Mr. Price behind you. Be advised, we're gonna have another vehicle driving in the mission. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now. Yeah. When you uh, when you approached and you said, "Tell me what again," what you said to the officer as you as you move forward with your uh, with your gun raised. I say that again. What what did I say? Or yeah, when you were when you were moving forward with your gun raised, and you were uh, you were moving yeah. off in this direction, do, doing what Mr. Price told you to do. Yeah. What were you saying? You you were mentioning that you, that you were saying something. What what were you saying, Mike? Like if, if if there's anyone this court or whatever, I please say something or whatever. I I don't want to do this. I don't like to do anything. And okay. uh, I see a a late uh, a woman trooper, you know, poke her head out with a shotgun named at me. And at, at that point, I I couldn't do nothing. I put my gun down and just gave up. I didn't know there was anyone. Now that's really the there. actions of a 36 and a half year old, Mike. I'm proud of you. For what it's worth. Proud of you. Uh -huh. You got out of that okay, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, things are better now, but it's just a stressful situation. It was. I can understand. You were, uh, 
You were shot in the leg, right? You uh, took a small injury. What? Were you shot no, in the I, leg? I didn't have a. S no, I wasn't. Okay. Yeah, I okay. All right, and you uh, you were able to. Uh, you were able to give up after uh, Freddie was uh, Freddie was struck in the chest by a sh by a shotgun blast. You were able to uh, to give up. Yep. All right, Mike. Okay. Is there anything else that uh, you recall that day that you want to make it part of the official record? Ten four two nineteen showing you out of service twenty three zero five. No, I mean that's. That's kind of about it. Okay, Mike. Well, I um, if uh, if called to testify in court, uh, Mr. Lemonade, would you uh, would you be willing to testify? Given that the uh, timing would be, uh, you know, uh, something that you would be available for. I, I've been asked to, to testify and by some other people. Sure. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. I'm going to go ahead and end the recording.